strangers and nosy parkers can expect a rough reception at his ninjutsu school outside Tokyo. The welcome routine includes that old ninja favorite, avoiding the razor-sharp samurai sword. This five-foot-long piece of forged mayhem is designed to slice through human flesh, like the machine at the butchers. Traditionally, once it's been drawn, it must taste blood, or it brings shame on the swordsman. Dr. Hatsumi doesn't look like a man easily shamed. Clearly, it's very silly to expect to evade a large sword. The reality is that Dr. Hatsumi is both testing the visitor's bottle and letting him know who's boss. The guy with the sword, if you're confused. Deception and distraction are the key principles of ninjutsu. While the opponent is busy avoiding the sword, Dr. Hatsumi is busy tying him up with a scabbard. His finishing touch is to kneel on the victim's hand. Very painful, very ninjutsu. <sighs> very scary. <laughs> Ninjas, if they didn't exist, you'd have to invent them. And maybe we did. Even in Japan, most people take the exploits of their men in black with a pinch of wasabi. Exactly how authentic ninjas operated is obscured in an historical murk devised by the ninjas themselves. As mercenaries and assassins, they saw misinformation as a tool. What we do know is that the ninjas had few weapons to call their own. They trained to become expert with every weapon they encountered, particularly those of their usual targets, the samurai. And Dr. Hatsumi still teaches the original ninja technique for disarming a samurai swordsman. The trick is to deceive the chap into a premature strike, then get the sword off him by casually crushing his fingers. He's waiting to the very last moment before he moves out of the way so the guy can't alter the movement of his stick. This is perfect deception. Instead of moving with the body, he's just moving with the feet. So your feet follow and the body should follow. So go. If that was a real sword, you'd be fumbling around in the undergrowth, searching for your head. This is very difficult, it's very difficult. What I was doing is just making a huge movement out of the way. Whereas Dr. Hatsumi's making a really simple movement and just completely relaxing, and he's not getting belted by the cane like I am. <laughs> 